Welcome back, beer tubers. Time to take a look at L. Smith's 2012 Decadence. This came out, I think, early January or the end of uh, December, and this is their Belgian style quadruple ale. Decadence changes every year, so this year they decided to do a quad. It's a big 12% beer. So I already have it poured out. I poured out with about a finger of nice light brown head to it. Um, pretty good uh, head retention for 12%. And it's got a nice, just dark, uh, kind of ruby red toned mahogany color to it. Lots of carbonation coming up. This is an etched glass, so that's definitely helping. So let's give it a little bit of a swirl here. I can see some alcohol eggs as well. So you expect that from 12%. Let's get the nose. Wow, it's got a lot going on. Definitely uh, those dark fruits, raisin. Fig, big time. Some really nice bready, uh, sweet bread, toastiness to it. A little bit of um, a yeast driven spice character, maybe a hint of, uh, maybe a touch of banana in there as well. It's very fruity on the nose, um, sweet smelling. Uh, it's, there's got some of that, that caramel notes as well, so smells like a great quad and American quads are, or at least American breweries doing Belgian style quads have done the best job on these, but this smells one of the, like one of the better ones, so let's dig in, cheers. Mm, that's nice. Really nicely done quad, this is my uh, initial impression. I uh, couldn't smell the 12%. I am getting a little bit of that on the back end. It's nice warming going down the throat, but uh, certainly isn't a big factor in the taste of the beer. They recommend serving this in a goblet, which I've done between 50 and 55 degrees, which is about exactly where I had this one, I believe. Yeah, it's, a, it's a good temperature to drink it. Up front, you hit with some a little bit of like a, a bittering character. The carbonation helps tack the palate. Uh, mostly like a peppery spiciness is what I get up front. And that kind of sets the palate up for the big sweetness, which then comes in. But it finishes nice and dry. It's got good mouthfeel, uh, good balance to it. Nice, spicy, slightly phenolic yeast character. Big sweetness, uh, just big caramel notes, big sweet bread. Um, like a sweeter kind of brown bread sort of character to it. A uh, little bit of like a sweet biscuit note as well. A uh, good amount of caramel note in there as well. You certainly pick up those dark fruits, uh, raisin. It's almost like a toffee covered raisin character. And then the finish has this slight sort of uh, grapey character and uh, maybe like a little just tiny tiny touch of a banana ester coming in as well. The, the spice character is definitely more clove the more I drink it. Um, not quite as peppery as uh, some other yeast characters, but definitely that clove character. Um, it definitely has a darker, more sort of molasses tinged character to it. Uh, maybe that's coming from the, uh, maybe they use some dark candy syrup. I'm not sure how, what they did to brew this, but this is a fantastic American quad. I really enjoy this one. I think it's a little young. It's going to get even better and possibly more complex as it ages. But as it sits right now, I'm going to give it an A minus. I think this is a, an excellent example of the, the Belgian style. It's maybe a little more, uh, maybe a little more clovey, peppery than some, but it, it's got all the characters characteristics you really want in a good Belgian style quad. So. Yeah, it, nice. Another nice beer. Ailsmith does just fantastic beers. This is, this is uh, no exception. Definitely uh, try one fresh, but I would pick up, you know, at least two to age. This beer with a year to two years on it's just going to be uh, drinking awesome. And I really hope they're putting this in barrels as well. So it's going to wrap it up. Until next time, please comment, subscribe. Cheers.